guys, this is Superman here. Today I have my first After Effects tutorial video here for you guys. It is on how to create screen pumps on After Effects for your intros and stuff like that. Pretty much just how to sync your music to your um, animation in After Effects. So let's hurry on up and uh, open up After Effects here. So basically it just pumps the screen every time there's like a hard beat and stuff like that. Uh, on it. So let's hurry up on um, let's click new composition right here. These are my composition settings for today's video. If you guys want to copy it, then go on ahead. Here it is. Okay, click okay. So here we have our project right here, project window all over here. And, uh, and then we have our composition right here. So basically, uh, this is where all the stuff happens inside this one thing. It's kind of like a folder. Uh, if you want to change your composition settings, just click right click and then click composition settings and then you can change it. Uh, if you made any mistakes, so uh, I'm not changing it because I don't think I made a mistake. I don't think so. But um, so yeah, let's get on our uh, get our video file in here. I'm gonna use the file uh, for my intro, but I'm not gonna be using the same music for it. So it can be like a little bit different. So um, what you wanna do since you have your video file, you wanna drop it into the composition that you created in the beginning, uh, and then uh, you wanna drag your music file. And yes, my music file is called song, just song, <laughs> generic song. But um, you drag your music file into this, like the music that you want uh, to have the whole thing synced up to into your uh, composition that you have your video in. So now what you want to do is you want to click right click and then click new, go to new, scroll down all the way to adjustment layer. You want the adjustment layer to be at the very top. Now you want to go to your effects and presets tab right here. If you don't have that, you go to window and then click, where is it, effects and presets right here. And then it'll check and then you will get it over here. Or if you want to use only your keyboard, just click control plus five and then it'll pop up over here. So now what you want to do over here is you want, once you type, uh, like just go to this little search tar tab thing right here and you want to click, I mean, you want to type in transform. And what you do is, since you have transform right here, you see this thing right here under the distort tab. It says transform 32, little plug-in picture. You double click that and it pops up on your adjustment layer. Now this is what makes the whole thing sync to your, um, your animation thing with your song. So uh, it kind of gets hard from here. So now what you want to do is, since you have that whole thing in here, you click the adjustment layer and then you click this this little tab right here that says uh, that says RAM preview. This will render the animation with the music, so it can uh, so you can keyframe it, so you can see which frames to click and uh, which frames to actually have the pumps going in and out and stuff like that. So uh, once this uh, finishes rendering, I'm going to or RAM previewing, I'm going to play it so you guys can hear it. So. I think you guys already heard a little bit right now, but yeah, it's the song like that I use for my sync test video. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard it before. You hear this. So yeah, that's the song right there. Now, since you've listened to your song and stuff like that, blah 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 blah. What you want to do is you click your adjustment layer right here, and then for and then you're gonna play the video. You're gonna play the the song or video whole thing. And then every time you have you fear you hear sorry not fear every time you hear a point where you want the screen to pump, you click your asterisk key, the the little star key on your keyboard every time that you want it to pump. It may take some time to actually get it perfect perfected. And you might have to like move around the keyframes after you're done keyframing it to get it perfect. But yeah, other than that, it's actually pretty easy. So um, I'm going to click it and uh, I'm going to start keyframing. Alright, so I've got my keyframes right here. I'm going to play it and see if it's correct. Alright, so I'm going to get rid of these last, um, or the, delete this marker, delete this marker, delete this marker, and delete this marker. And then I'm going to add one more here since I heard that I missed one. 
on uh, on this one. So now, since you have your markers, these aren't going to be perfect at all for this video because it's like it's it's just a rough estimate, and usually it takes kind of a long time to perfect the keyframes and make it perfect to the song. Um, so now what you want to do is, since you have all your markers, every single marker is a point where you want the screen to pump, or the screen to tilt, or the screen to move, or the screen to twitch. All sorts of things that you can do. But for this, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to teach you how to actually keyframe it on that point to actually just screen pump and uh, make it move, or make it move according to the music. So, you go into your adjustment layer, you click the drop down menu, you go down to effects, you go down to transform, not this transform, this transform, the effect that you have. You go to this transform, drop down, and then you have all these options right here. All these options you can keyframe except for this one, which is absolutely nothing. So, uh, first things first, you go to your first one, and you have, since it's like down the middle right here, where is it? Yeah, there we go. Since it's down the middle right there, you go there and you click page up. That'll move it one keyframe up. At that keyframe, if you want, uh, you just click the keyframe, a uh, little button right here, a little time watch thing on whatever you want to keyframe there. So, like, if you have one little uh, change that you want to make, you make the change before, like, what you want. It's like a beginning and after scenario. So right here, the keyframe is going to be the beginning of the animation thing. I'm so bad at explaining this. Sorry. But um, uh, for example, I want to make the screen pump. So what I do is I go to scale and uh, I make it to the beginning of the thing. So it's like scale. I keyframe the scale right here. And then I click page down. And it is right in between the little marker that I made. And now you want to make it to the change that you want. Like I want to change it to scale 120. That's a massive scale. It's probably not going to look cool, but it's going to be a scale. And basically, that creates a screen pump right there. And then you create another keyframe on the next marker. Like you go to the middle of the next marker and then you click page up, just like you did last time. And then you create a keyframe at 100. Like you go back to normal, back to this first keyframe, like equivalent to this keyframe you do over here. So that makes it a little bump right there. You see that bump? You see this bump right here? That's what you're trying to create in this whole tutorial. That's the screen pump right there. So it like syncs to the music. I'll be right back after I keyframe all of these with the screen pumps. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, so now I'm back with the whole keyframe and I'm going to render it all out. And uh, let's see how it looks. That actually didn't look that bad. So yeah, that's basically what you do for screen pumps. And now you can keyframe anything you want at the same keyframes if you are happy with them. Right now I'm not exactly happy with them because I messed up around here somewhere with the keyframes. Like it wasn't exactly on the point. So yeah, um, I'd move these around a little bit by clicking one of them and then clicking shift on the other and then click the other one and then moving it around. So uh, what I do is I add, a, I add a rotation, I add probably an opacity, and then I add a new adjustment layer and then I add twitch and uh, make it all fancy and stuff like that. Um, and you guys can do that as well. You guys can do anything you want with this. Basically, I, it's just a tutorial on how to keyframe uh, screen pumps, and that is what this is. It's screen pump the whole thing. Also, another trick that you can do that I did to make this faster for me to actually just keyframe all of these single points on this whole line. Um, I clicked one of them, and then clicked uh, the other one, and then click copy or control C, and then go to the other frame, go back one, like you know, go the other frame go back one and then copy and paste that's pretty much what I did to make it easy for me so um you guys can do that as well um, you guys can do scale and um, twitch I'm not gonna show you twitch for now that'll be another tutorial video if you guys want it um, so yeah that's basically it basically how to create keyframes on the um, music thing stuff animation intro thing that you created so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Also, thank you to the person that uh, recommended this video 
on this tutorial. I hope this helped you along with many other people. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to leave a comment, like the video, and subscribe. And uh, if you guys have any other tutori tutorial ideas, and please leave a comment down below. And also, if you need extra help on this, also leave a comment down below, and I will help you. So yeah, bye guys. Have a good day, and peace.